Hi, I'm Cynthia Kahn, founder of Amuse Now, and I'm here today with recording artist Diggs McLeod. Hi, how are you? I'm doing very well, Cynthia. I can't complain. We're doing very well. Well, congratulations on the release of your new video, No Stopping. I love the song and the positive message. Do I hear a little influence of reggae in the tune? Well, um, yes, you do. Uh, my family is from the West Indies, and the area, well, Flatbush, Brooklyn, the Junction area is a heavily West Indian community, so there's no choice but to have that influence from that, uh, that little reggae Caribbean influence, you know? Well, your song, What You Gonna Do, seems a little bit more rock and roll. I can't stop moving. It makes me want to dance. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good thing. Music is, is supposed to make that energy energy move you. Yeah, dance. Well, how would you describe your music? Well, I like to describe my music as like how you would describe a misfit or a rebel. They don't really fit in. They don't really classify to any real genre or any kind of clique or group. I like to consider my music like that. Like it's just raw, just no... No uh, boxing in, no ceiling, you know? No boundaries. No boundaries. <laughs> no boundaries. Who would you say are your music influences then? Well, my music influence, I would really have to say Bob Marley first, around the time of Lee Scratch Perry. Um, definitely Hendrix, even though I haven't learned any of his songs yet. Definitely Jim <laughs> Hendrix. <laughs> um, Jack White. You know, I, I really like his uh, adverse, like his, uh, he's very abstract, uh, Jack White. Um, and also, um, I'm really influenced by all the, all the hip hop music, like as far as the lyricists and uh, the creativities in the, um, in the artistry. But if I had to single out one, I would say, you know, Brooklyn's own Biggie Smalls, you know, Biggie Smalls, Notorious B.I.G., you know, Sloop, you know. I hear you. <laughs> Well, you've been songwriting since the age of 11. You started playing guitar in your teens, and you have a wide range of talents. Thank you. Um, what is your music background and training? Well, background, I would say uh, from the age of about six. Um, I really don't even remember what age, but my pop, he played in the steel pan band. You know, that was a pretty big steel pan band, and he did that for a good couple of years. And then um, I would say as far as uh, in my adolescence, I bumped into a friend named uh, Peanut, you know, Nut One Productions, that uh, I started playing a little one string acoustic guitar. And from there, it just was acoustic, a little bass, then back to acoustic, you know, used to kill people's ears, like, what is he doing? <laughs> and as far as training, um, I pretty much play what I hear. Everything is, is by the ears. I've never took any like uh, classes where I learned how to like, read music or anything like that. So everything is just from my ears. So oh, well, fun. Yeah. <laughs> well, you mentioned Peanut, so I guess you do collaborate with other artists. What skills well, do you look for? Well, um. I would say being a, me and him do more production. I would say as far as artists, um, skills that I look for, I would work with other artists, meaning, and but right now I wouldn't really too much like extend myself so much because I'm really concreting this, uh, deciphering my sound and um, I have a little bit more structuring to do. But um, I look forward to working with artists in the future. But as far as what I'm looking for in an artist, I would say, uh, first of all, a, a feel for music. Definitely, because that's just music, you know. And then two, I would say uh, music that reflects them, what's, what they're going through, you know what I mean? Not what people want to hear, what, what they got to say. Wow. How do you take advantage of the Internet and social media to connect with new fans and to get the word out about your new song? Well, as for social media, well, I, I usually post different things that's going on as far as working in the studio or making a move here, just to keep the family up and posted, because I like to consider them family, not fans. Um, 
I use uh, especially the Instagram, you know, like I have a lot of real quick on the uh, on the fam, um, you know, Baby Girl Marie, Queen Scorp, um, you got Dawn, the sis Dawn, you got um, Queen Dime, you know, you got a, got a good bit of people helping me on the gram, you know, so I really want to say shout out to you, anybody that I didn't say, no love lost, I still love you, you know what I mean, thank you very much for your support, I appreciate it. Well, since Amuse Now is about artists helping artists, mm -hmm. what advice do you have for other artists who are trying to make a name for themselves? Well, what I would say and what I learned myself is to stay true to what you're about, stay focused, don't, uh, don't sell yourself short, and once you do that, you'll keep it real and people will be able to connect with you and you'll find your real fan base and you won't have to worry about, oh, are they going to like this, are they going to like that, they know you. so. They're going to know, they're going to feel what you put out. So stay true to yourself. That's the best I could tell them. Stay true to themselves. Don't let nobody change you. <laughs> <laughs> so what's up next for Diggs in the Cloud? Next, uh, a lot of performing. I'm about to really perform and promote as, as far as bringing the music to the people now as far as live interaction. So I'm going to be pushing the note stopping and uh, what you're going to do song in live circuits now, especially in the tri-state area. So stay tuned within the next month. You should see a lot of things going up because um, I'm about to go very hard on this. You know, very, very, very hard. So performing, a lot of performance going on next because the people want to see this in real time. They're like, all right, we've seen en enough of your videos. Yeah, it looks good. We want to see you do it for real in front of us. So give the people what they want, you know. So a mini tour in the tri-state area, which is the Northeast United States? Yeah, I wouldn't say mini tour, I would just say I'm just going to try and just target as much from, from the Catskills region to the, uh, the uh, New York City area, especially Brooklyn, downtown Brooklyn and downtown Soho area, really going to be focusing, pushing to really get my music exposed, live interaction with the people playing, you know, so oh. that's what it looks like. Here. Well, Diggs, I had a great time talking with you tonight. And I really had a great time talking with you, Cynthia. I appreciate you reaching out. Again, I want to tell, thank you to all the Team Dick, Dick, team Dick supporters. Everybody, um, I'm on the social media networks, you know, Twitter, Facebook. The best way is Diggs McLeod. You could go to DiggsMcLeodRocks.com. That's the website, and it has all the links from there. YouTube. Awesome. <laughs> all right. Well, I hope that when we launch our e-commerce site, you'll consider adding Amuse Now to your music distribution network. How can I not? How can I forget you guys? <laughs> you know, you guys did an interview with me, and we, we, we starting off together, man. I'm still starting off, man, even though everything is going and it's, it's all hot, you know, re-redoing the management and everything, and I'm doing it independent. So it's like the beginning of the movement over again, like the movement got to be reborn again, you know, so it's a good thing. I'm not going to no forget you. <laughs> I won't forget you guys. No. Have a nice evening. Thank you, Cynthia. Much love. Thank you. <laughs> Hi, I'm Cynthia Kahn, founder of Amuse Now. This featured artist presentation has been brought to you by Amuse Now Entertainment, a website that enables artists to profit from their creativity. To learn more about Amuse Now, Visit us at www.amusednow.com or email me at ccon at amusednow.com.